Hey, so this video regards funguses. My name is Eric Johnson, a veterinarian in Marietta, Georgia, with a specialty in fish health. This is a video in the 20 step series to help you figure out what's going on with your fish. And this is the fungus video. It's, um, it's kind of an important step. Uh, it brings up the fact that a lot of times what you're looking at when you see fungus is not actually fungus. Uh, when you see cottonmouth, for example, um, sometimes when you see patchy white areas on the, um, the fish, what you're actually looking at is a columnaris bacteria. Bacteria. They respond to different things than funguses do. We'll talk about that in the bacterial video, which I think preceded this one. Um, funguses are kind of a non sequitur because funguses happen when a fish has very little or no immune system. Funguses also happen in water that is quite cold. There's only one fungus that affects koi and goldfish that works in warm water, and it works in very warm water. It's called branchiomyces. It's a gill fungus. When you see fish dying and you get them out of the water, and they're not quite dead yet, you'll see the gills are eaten up with white areas, white to sometimes greenish areas, depending on whether there's algae in the water. And if the water's quite warm, then by, de by default, that's going to be branchiomyces, a warm water fungus. It's a pain. Typically, I've managed that with... Um, well, you can manage it with methylene blue, but it's also good to manage it with formalin. It actually works pretty well. Problem is, the fish have bad gills, and you're using formalin, which is caustic and consumes dissolved oxygen. So in warm water, which is where branchiomyces happens. So when you're treating warm water fungus, it is so important to get your dissolved oxygen levels up. Aeration, crazy aeration. Um, cool the water down. Get going with formalin. That'll take care of the warm water fungus. Oh, and uh, bring the immune system of the fish back on board. But when you see most funguses, um, the water's on the cool side because that's what they depend on. Recent handling to take the immune system down, cold water to take the immune system down, um, chronic parasitism takes the immune system down. There's are two small facilities, crappy quarantine, stuff like that. Uh, all rule outs for fungus. Um, it's not hard to diagnose under the microscope. If you go to step 20 where the resources are, it'll um, probably lead you to some tutorials on how to use a microscope, where to take classes to learn how to do that, etc. cetera. Um, but back to fungus, the key element there is get water up into the uh, mid to high 70s and bring the fish's immune system back on board. You can use formalin if you want to, but it's kind of caustic. I would only use that for the warm water fungus. Uh, methylene blue, uh, Mardell clout is nice because it's got stains in it that will kill the fungus or uh, don't kill the fungus at all. Especially with koi, I have a tendency to want to leave those alone because once you bring the fish up into the mid to high 70s and the immune system comes back on board and the fish starts eating krill or freeze-dried shrimp or some other highly palatable um, food, uh, the immune system comes back on board and the fungus stops spreading, and then the fish will, will uh, reject the fungus after sometimes quite a while. But the patches don't spread, and the fish is eventually fungus-free. I think people have a tendency to get overboard on fungus treatments um, and expect the fungus to clear overnight, which it isn't going to do. Um, so let's just say that you have a 30-gallon fish tank with sick fish and you see fungus all over them. I'm going to tell you that that is, a, um, that is an issue of um, probably water quality, water temperature, stressed fish, too cool of water. All of those are possibilities. You just got to fix those things. You don't even have to treat the fungus. The fish will do that for you most of the time. But if you see something like uh, fungus on the mouth, easy. <laughs> um, if you um, see fungus on the mouth, sometimes on the fins, it's actually not fungus at all. It's actually columnaris bacteria. That's kind of a different thing. Um, not quite as easy to treat. But we'll talk about that in the bacterial section. There probably will also at some point be a video on uh, the fin and tail rot, mouth rot, 
um, columnaris bacteria, um, cotton wool disease, that sort of thing. So um, fungus, improve the water quality, improve the fish's immune system. If you want to treat it, go ahead. Watch out for warm water fungus, and in all probability, if you just bring the fish up to par as far as their immune system and the water temperature's up, you're going to do fine. Izzy wants to get out of the car. <laughs>